Good evening and welcome back to Valkyrie Flight. I'm Bazag, your host, Dungeon Master, and um, I'm going to say intelligent. Sorry, Don? I said General Ne'er Do Well. General Ne'er Do Well is a very good phrase for um, someone as underhanded as I am currently. <laughs> because that's what we're going to step right into this week. Um, but first, we need to do a little bit of a review. So after Commander Pellis and his family was recovered, um, last week we had some Starfleet intelligence officers go over with uh, the captain and the security officer Savan, um, his uh, uh, well, debriefing uh, as a uh, current foreign agent and a request for asylum seeker uh, to see, well, what are they going to do with him? The approval has come through that he is going to be granted asylum and um, the suggestion was raised, which made Ted very, um, let's say, unhappy, that... Delphi would be a good place for the Pelsers, because uh, of the former commander and his family to settle. So that's where we're going to start right now. The, sh the Valkyrie has just set its course. Uh, it has just left Earth and is just a couple of hours into its warp journey from, from the Sol system uh, to Delphi. So after the, the the shift has ended, Alpha Shift, the command staff have a bit of personal time. And one of those ca command staff, well, bridge officers, has a report they want to make. Journey. Yes. That's your cue. <laughs> <laughs> your thing, dude. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Caught off guard. <laughs> Was not prepared. <laughs> Always be prepared to go That's first. Right. We'll, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> it's for uh, effect, right? Mm -hmm, something like that. So, um... Like before, Char will head to his uh, his quarters, and he will make sure that the system is secure, so nothing can be traced to the console in his uh, room. Okay, so um, I'm gonna change how we're gonna do that. It'll be a um, opposed role uh, for if someone checks out. It's not gonna automatically be connected, but if someone uh, looks into the communications, it'll be a roll-off at that point. Well, since I have a program floating around in there, I guess it would be my opposed role? Well, um, what, what, sorry, what was the program you had running around? Because I had, uh, the only thing there was was that, um, Section 31, which was removed when the ship systems were, you know, refreshed from the Borg. Oh shit, that's right. I forgot we refreshed the ship. Wait, is, is Masaka aware of that? Yes, he, he would have been aware of that, so I'll give you a chance to... Um, to write a new one, basically? To, to write a new one. Um, Wait, we, do, is that momentum carried over? That um, I'm going to say it's the start of a new scene, so it'll be, it'll be carried over, but it'll be four. Okay. Let's let's spend two momentum and create an advantage that Mazaka had backups. Yes, yeah. Smyrna had a floppy disk with one on it. Okay, so give me a roll. Um, this will be reason science, reason engineering. It'll be engineering. I don't know if it'll be control or intelligence. I'm gonna say intelligence. Uh, in uh, reason. Okay. Uh, Baz. Yes. Uh, since Safan assisted with creating the program, can I assist Mazaka with his role? Um, well, the, the, the program, if I remember, is was originally 
the section the one section thirty one created. Is that right? Basically, yeah, it's be no, it's so it was a counter program to that. Which also had surveillance tapping for other section thirty one stuff. Okay. Um all right, so I built a firewall, basically. <laughs> okay. Um so There's this a is that has some antiviral properties checking for tracing unauthorized communications. Hmm. Okay, give me Okay, I'll so, uh, so give me a roll off. Um so for you guys it'll be reason I will allow Safan to do a um reason security, reason engineering. Uh, you'll have your... I'm going to say you'll have your computer focus. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give... Um, spend a threat to give um, our Section 31 agent an extra dice on this. And uh, for him, uh, let me double check what his stats are for a moment. Um... Yeah, it'll be, um, I'm going to say reason. Everything I was thinking of have, have the same stats. Uh, reason um, engineering. Uh, and you'll have your focus. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to take a momentum for an extra die if our Section 31 agent is getting an extra die. That's fair. Well, it's a low bar. Okay, so uh, uh, for this purpose, since the Section 31 agent is the active on this in terms of he's trying to achieve something and uh, you're trying to basically detect it or stop it, um, he will have to, he will fail only if he gets a one, if he gets a two or three. Um, or a comp. Or a comp. Well, the, the, the complication will be. Something. I haven't worked out what that will be yet. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to allow the ship to aid either of you, since that'll just wash out. Um, uh, you know what? Just because I'm probably going to go ahead and burn my determination. <laughs> oh, shit. You have a determination with that group? I do. It is, uh, you think my job is easy? Try interpreting a Klingon with a cold. Mm. Does that fit? Yeah, does that even fit? You're... It, this I mean, is pretty... Yeah, I mean, this is pretty standard for a Section 31 agent. Um, I wouldn't call this particularly hard. Okay. Um... If not, I'll go ahead and roll them. So roll, uh, roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> On the bright side, you didn't need to use your determination. True. So you've got the threat back, and with that, I'm going to spend two threat to create an advantage uh, to create um, something for the future of that. He wouldn't be a very good agent if you could just catch him like that. <laughs> No, but the, the good thing is that it's an automated process. I'll have more chances to catch his ass. All right. So, um, give uh, for uh, Lucius, give me an insight engineering role as you do that. Uh, difficulty, uh, okay. difficulty uh, three. Uh, computers or commun um, I would say computers engineering. Uh, if you person. We have the ship. Uh, computers engineering for the ship, insight engineering for his uh, supporting character. Okay, insight engineering. 
Do I have a focus that applies? Um, let me double. Uh, I just had it up. I'm leaning on yes, but I just want to double check. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say yes. Allow your computer security to apply. Okay. I don't have bold or anything, so I guess I'll just go ahead and roll the two dice. always ask the Daz if he, he'll give you a threat for it. Oh no! Okay, someone roll the ship. Steph, you want to get that one? Uh, what's the ship rolling? Uh, um, it was uh, com computers engineering. Alright, I got it one time. Statistically unlikely, but still possible. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so that, um, yeah, you don't get any more information. You believe your, um, your message was successful. Nothing's been, um, identified on the way through. So it seems to be fine. Um, so you've established your connection unimpeded. Okay, uh, I'll start, uh, listing the current information that I've had access to and send it through bits at a time. Okay, so you, 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 you talk about Pallas' presence, his reports that you have been able to glean um his status that things have been accepted and that um the current plan is is for head to delphi and um the royal family seems to be in, in agreement that uh that that Pels would be welcomed on delphi as um a refugee Uh, anything else you want to share, or is that basically it? Uh, that's basically it. All right. Um, the, I was going to do some stuff with Sarah, but unfortunately Sarah's not here right now. So we will skip a few days ahead. Still in the journey. Um, Nothing's in the meantime. It's it's been just been pretty routine, r ritualistic. Um, the the, the um, shifts have gone on. There hasn't been any any anything interesting at all pop up. I mean, this is the middle of the Federation. You're not expecting anything, um, but you still keep an keep an eye out, keep a keep a ear out, senses wise. Um, but everything seems to be in order. And at least until you receive another communication. This time uh, from uh, intelligence agent Sa'ara. It's um, for the captain. Wait, so Starfleet Intelligence? Uh, Starfleet Intelligence. One of the agents that um, debriefed uh, Pelis that you met, um, Cation female Sa'ara. All right. Um, what's, what's the, um, what's the classified level on the message? Uh, it is, um, it, it, it's, it's not particularly high classified. Um, I mean, you could share it with the, the rest of the bridge crew if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just read it on the pad on the bridge. All right, so the message is that there's, um, she wants to, um, it, it's not just a message, it's, it's a, like a, a um, voice and video. Um, um, hmm. Anyhow, go ahead and play it. Um, she, she requests, uh, Captain, uh, we have some uh, science uh, teams in, in the... Shackleton Expanse that would like to 
have some questions of, of our um, guest. Uh, they believe that his uh, particular experience in, in that area of space, particularly with uh, the people and um, items involved, would be beneficial for their study. We'll have to pass that message along to the, um, the Pelos and see how he feels. Uh, he inquires. Um, he Pelos inquires about what. What's the subject? What What do they want to ask about? Um, I will relay all the information <laughs> that I was basically told by the um, or by the message. It's probably uh, it's presumably it seems to be some kind of like. Scientific thing. Uh, you it's see, him, it was him. It's him personally. It's probably related to the power mages, which is my guess. He, he you can see him nod very well. Uh, pass it through to my room, and uh, I shall uh, answer as many questions as I can for them. I understand. Bridge out. All right. So for the next mm, 20, 30 minutes, uh, the communication of the channel is opened. Uh, pass between them. Um, conversation happens, um, and then the once um, the um, sorry, I've got a bit of a bit of a raspy voice at the moment. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, we um, the call comes back to you, Captain, saying, uh, "Thank you. Um, that information will be." quite uh, beneficial for our science teams. Thank you for your assistance. Mm-hmm. Always happy to help. And with that, uh, the conversation cut out. Um, ends politely. Um, hmm. I wish you could drive now talk to people from Starfleet Intelligence. Yeah. But actually, Ted has been looking forward to today because he finally has some scheduled lab time that he finally gets to get finally gets to um, start with. All right. So, what does he want to do in the lab? Well, he um, he asked for some for about you know a few hours of some private lab time in one of the science labs. He is hoping to finally get a chance to break down the various type of vortexes he's he's um, he's had personal experience with, mostly related to the ones with the the Jem'Hadar that travel through time. And the type of vortex the port created at the Battle of Sector 001. Um. Uh, Gemini traveled through time. Is that. That hasn't happened yet. Yeah, it has. We're the ones who pushed the ship back into the oh. future. Oh, of oh, that one. Okay, yes. Okay. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the 4600. The mechanics give us all a Yeah, the 2800, sorry. I think uh, it has, but it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you spend your time. Give uh, what kind of like what 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 specifically do you want out of this role? Um. Well, first off, I have to mention he's being said. Uh, if if anyone ever came into it, they would have seen something. Well, if anyone ever shows it, uh, but yeah, mostly he wants to see if there's any um sort of correlating um underlying underlying method of to have, um temple displacement between the two different um, versions because they both seem a little bit of for lack of a better term vortexy one identifiable the other rather mysterious in its method of temple displacement all right um give me a roll um this make it a difficulty uh difficulty three four reduced to three um okay. This will be reason science with sensors science from the ship. Alrighty, I'm gonna give you a bold for um, give you a threat for bold. And uh, you have your temporal mechanics focus, of course. Yes. I'm gonna break that out and d dust it off. <laughs> Let's do this. Along with the safety manual for the science lab. Hey, there's oh, a yeah. temporal vortex in the science lab. What the hell? You have no idea what he's done about four science left. <laughs> and I don't want to know. I, I'm not oh, taking a black light in there, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, someone want to roll for the ship, please? 
Uh, someone else can go ahead. So it's a right, sense of science. Points. Yep. I'll roll it. Got our sensors, and we got our science, and boom! Uh, you got a mimetin. Alrighty. All right, so from what you're able to determine, um, the scans of the Jem'Hadar and the Borg Cube are, are, are different. Um, the Jem'Hadar was based, like, there was a lot of, like, uh, like energy anomaly, gaseous stuff around it that definitely played a part in, in the temporal field. It wasn't, it wasn't a... You get the feeling that it wasn't a manufactured as something that was accidental. Uh, whereas the ball cube was definitely um, a purposeful fabrication, artificial. It wasn't. It wasn't an anomaly. It was purposely constructed. That makes sense tracks of what we've seen so far. I actually, I'm actually going to invite um, the Zarathan to the science lab so I can get a second, second pair of eyes on it. Sure. Yeah, she'll... <laughs> Alright, so so give me another... I'm going to say uh, difficulty 2 check. Oh, see but what... first off, when, when the Zareth opens, um, opens the doors, just the, um, the sound of heavy metal just assaults their ears. <laughs> And, um, Music or like metal on metal? Yes. Classical. Good. That. Cool. <laughs> um. Okay. The song's gonna. <laughs> no, but uh, oh, well, hang on. There's that going on, but he's also replicated. He's also replicated a bunch of um, portable hollow emitters that just do literally just a um, visual hologram, so they don't have any um, force fields attached to them. And you just got them set up all over the lab. Wait, is this Ted? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So all over the lab, it's just like um, notes, um, diagrams on temporal anomalies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Lasan's gonna like step in, <laughs> pause, turn around, walk back out. <laughs> the doors will close behind her. Um. And then after a minute, she'll walk, um, and like, computer, turn off music, which it presumably does. Yeah. Presumably does. Yeah. So, so the the the, the uh, <gasps> science lab is now. Silent. She's gonna kind of like take a second. Um like scan scan around for Ted's like bulk and then just kind of like lean up against the wall and go, Did you move around too? Say that again. Did you move everything around too? Huh? What? Oh. Oh, great, you're here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just moved did some you, stuff around. Did you move? Did you move stuff around? Well, yeah, I had to get into the right headspace. Uh, blind oh, no. person, you don't redecorate. No, no, no. I, 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 I took a scan of the room before that, and I'll be able to put everything back to where it was afterwards. All right, I'm going to until you give me directions on how to get to you without running into something. Okay, yeah. Um, here, come over here. And I'm just going to go over and take their arm. Okay. Just over here, step over that, come over here, and the sound of brushing things off of a console. Here we go. <sighs> Tactile interface, please. <laughs> All right, what... Yeah. what are you doing? I wanted to compare the temporal vortexes that we've seen so far. And I was hoping to see there's some like some kind of commonality, a thread that maybe we could have um 
clutched at. But so far, it looks like they're not really much related. Um, the one we saw with the, the Gem Hadar vessel from the future appears to be, well, accidental. And the Borg are worryingfully purposeful. I'll admit, that is not a version of the Temple of Displacement I've seen before. And I wonder where the hell they got it. More than likely some species that they assimilated. What worries me is that we've never seen them use any kind of temple displacement before. Right, that that whole affair was atypical for the Borg. I mean, freaking queen. I'm not going to say it was Iconians, but it was totally Iconians. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is that. If it, one would think that they wouldn't have an autocrat. Yeah, no, it was. They, they were making mistakes. Like, just from the reports I read? I mean, wow. We should be thankful. Oh, yeah, no, we are. <laughs> yeah, no. Imagine if it was us over there. Jesus. You just get, like, a very blank stare. Why would I have kick Zeph from Cochran out of the ship and pilot it myself? Christ. Anyway. It would have been very hard to blend in. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but yeah, no, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't just, you know, being me and looking for answers that I wanted to see. You more than likely are, but that's what we like about you. Yeah, but it's science, and you've got to be at least somewhat impartial. Fair enough. So... Your whole idea is to make sure that there's no connection? Is that what I'm... Bas basically, yeah. I was worried about a possible Borg presence in the Gamma Quadrants in the future. Seems unlikely, but I suppose anything is possible. Yeah. Um, Lore-wise, do we know that the Borg originate from the Delta Quadrant? Do we yeah, know that's, that yet? That's, that's, that's a known entity. Yeah, yeah that's been okay. a known entity since, like, the last season of TNG. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I mean, their point of origin and the Gamma Quadrant are quite far apart. Yeah. I mean, unless they have some sort of subspace network which is a horrifying concept um is it known that the Borg use, utilize transport conduits yeah the same episode that I'm thinking of that identified the Delta Quadrant as their origin oh, yeah. is it, oh is Voyager back then? no no no, no. no. no this was, is a TNG uh... descent TNG descent oh, oh, right, right, right 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 yeah so, like, because the Enterprise actually goes into a transport conduit in that episode. Right, okay. It's just... There's still so much we don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, well, you can't hope for a guy for trying to forget his troubles by worrying about something completely different. Well, what's troubling you? <laughs> Uh, have you heard the latest gossip? No. Well, you would know the destination, Lasan, uh, that you're heading to Delphi, at least. Oh. Uh, homesickness, or what's the, the human phrase? Delphi is not my home. It never has been. <laughs> I've never gone there, but... You've never been there? Mm -mm. I was born and raised in Alpha Centauri. Now I have to go, because Ellis chose it. Because Safan suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a practical suggestion. It was a practical suggestion, but it also pissed me off. I doubt Lieutenant Commander Safan had any 
me ill intention I'm suggesting. I don't know, that guy's kind of a prankster. <laughs> you get another blank stare? If you want to do an inside command roll, do an inside command roll. Otherwise, no, it's no, all... no, just, just a, just a, just like a, a look, like a really. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's kind of raising eyebrows and everything. Yeah, whatever. I think, I think maybe Jarred rubbing up, rubbing up on him a little bit. More than likely. But. I don't think you need to be as anxious as you seem to. Let me pull something up for you. He's going to reach into a pad and um, pull out the royal response he got from the... Um, oh, good. From the throne <laughs> okay. of Delphi. This is the last communication I had with my grandmother, who happens to be the reigning monarch of Delphi. I'm going to pass it over. All right. I will go over the... The, the and I will just re-put that up uh, for everyone. Cool. Uh, you see Lasan's like antennae kind of like twitch at first, and then like kind of splay out. And then, like, kind of work upwards. And by the time that she's done, flat, like, against her, her head, like, s sideways, like, almost touching, drooping and touching her ears. Seems her royal highness is quite a bitch. <laughs> Ted actually laughs like holy shit I was not expecting those words out of you commander be that as it may there's still roads that are potentially viable in doing this. I'm not against it in I don't see theory, but I guess more in the sense of morality. The helping fellows in this family is the best thing. But why did it have to be freaking Delphi? I would have suggested Andoria, but there is still prejudice against Vulcanoids in some areas. And I think um, Pelos himself suggested he wanted to avoid any kind of the core worlds. He wanted something more out of the way and less relevant to uh, modern, to current Federation politics. Well. Think of it as a way of getting to know your heritage, then. My heritage sucks. My people are assholes. <laughs> that can't be no. true for all of them. I mean, no, obviously, but... <laughs> Not mean, all Delphinians. <laughs> the mo okay. The most cult... Del Del Delphi prides itself on artistic culture and computer science. That's pretty much their two chief exports. Those are Crystal, bad things. Crystals and crystals. But it's just... I come from a planet where everything is ice. Have you got those worms? No, we don't talk about the worms. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys have a pretty good hockey team. I mean... Really, you're surprised that we enjoy a sport where blades are on our feet and it's in cold weather. And then about a gratuitous violence? Yeah, fair point. 
the first time I saw a hockey match, someone tried to cut the other person on the opposing team's throat. With a okay, to be fair though, he to be fair though he was hard sticking like a motherfucker. Good match though. I think it was three five. <laughs> you worry about your your crew is with you, and we support you. Yeah, and I'm glad everybody has it. Glad glad you all have my back. But I feel like I have to protect the entirety of Delphi. I get to protect all of you from the entirety of Delphi. Or at least very much, at least at least my family. That's realistically impossible. It's a noble goal, but honestly, as much as it sucks, they're your family and they are still a part of you. And if this weight and salt, which I believe it to be, they'll see the origins of you in them, and they won't fault them for their faults because they're still part of you. I would just wish they would be less. I want them to try and stop influencing me in my career. It would be nice. Then perhaps an adult conversation is necessary. <sighs> Not great at those. That's the, the surprising thing. But yeah, the science checks out. Seems to be mostly unrelated. Let me double check. Okay, for, wanna... you, uh, for you to be the same roles, just a differently to. Uh, reason science? A reason science, sensor science for the ship. Um. I don't think I have a focus. But... Um, I don't think so either. Two dice for cautious. Go for it. Okay, down to one momentum again. This might be the first time you've actually seen Ted's scientific pro um, pro uh, pro uh, uh, process as well. <laughs> Uh, who wants to roll for the hit? Oh, I haven't done it yet. Let's see. Do -do. Ship is gonna roll same thing. Yep. Sensor science. Sensor science. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, you do get one momentum, and you do confirm. Um, you do confirm what he found. Uh, one thing you do note, I'm going to give you for your free science officer thing, is that hey. th this is um, actually sort of similar. Um, not exactly the same, but sort of similar to uh, a temporal paradox that the Enterprise came into effect. It was sort of was there for a moment, but then vanished. They weren't able to get... A lot of information on that, but there is definitely some similar components to it. Okay. Well, you aren't crazy, and the science checks out. There should be some sort of historical log of the Enterprise encountering something similar at some point. I'll see if I can find it and send you the information. Yeah, do you know which one? Which Enterprise? Uh, Enterprise D. The D. Alright, yeah, I'll take a look. And I think that ship is always running in the temple anomalies. Hmm. Check. 
Yeah, thanks. And I will get this cleaned up post haste. I appreciate it. Also, if you're looking for something to listen to uh, when you're doing your earth metal is not necessarily the best choice. Oh, it worked, me, worked for me fine back when I was a um, science officer on the Amazon. No, I understand. It's inspiring, but... You should really check out, well, I don't exactly what it's, no, it, the exact specification, but I think it's Cardassian New Way. I'll, um, consider it. You see, is, is, is the expression actually darkens a little bit at the mention of the Cardassians? Well, it makes you feel like you're vibrant. An interesting sensation. Right. Okay. And please return my lab to its order once you're finished with. I will. I will. I promise. I'm almost done. And I will give him a slight salute and leave. <laughs> okay. I really wish I actually kept that. Oh, is that where you're going to end it? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you, you set the set the room back to where it was. Uh, double check and scans. Um, I'm not going to make you roll, but everything is put back essentially where it is. Um, enough that... that projector. <laughs> uh, everything where it was when, when you um, first found it. And uh, you're able to get get the rest of the day your your uh, day underway. Um, few uh, does anyone have anything else quickly they want to do before we move on? I'm just gonna send T Ted a text message that says, "If you need any emotional support, you know where I am." Ted text back at um text back a picture of a tequila bottle. And there's a response saying, right, get you more. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go looking for Lorin. Oh, okay. Um, Lorin would be in his office. Push the chime. Men. Walk in. Am I interrupting you, counselor? No, not at all. I was uh, just reading. He's got a book propped open on his desk. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? This may sound a bit strange, but I'm in need of conversation. That not strange at all not by my standards at least and he'll uh, close the book and pick himself up from his desk and move over to the chairs that are centered around that small little table would you like to join me? Uh, it seems very official sure not official at all you don't have an appointment so it's not official <laughs> I actually wanted to see how you were doing. Me? Uh, I'm doing fine, I think. It's been an interesting short run while you've been on the ship. Yes, yes it has. I have been expecting nothing that has happened so far welcome to the valkyrie quite a welcome you know that at crew functions right 
Sorry, what was that? You know that you're welcome at crew functions, right? Um, yes. Alright, you just seem to... in your office. I try to keep an open door policy for if any of the crew ever need to come and see me and haven't scheduled an appointment. I like to make myself available to them because not everyone is always willing to set up a an official appointment for it to go on record. Mm. Mm. Am I pick you out of this room and onto the holodeck? I am so sorry. Can you say that one more time? Oh, am I going to have to drag you out of this room and onto the holodeck? <laughs> There's a bit of an amused look. You could try, but I'd probably go willingly. Just, you're the counselor, but you need taken care of too, in some senses. And I want you to know that you're a part of this crew, even though you're new. And you had a bit of a bumpy introduction. Ah, yes. Uh, being thought that I was part of a shadowy organization out to do the ship harm. Not just that, but we aren't exactly the most welcoming when it comes to our problems. Oh no, no, yeah. Clinically, there's a problem with this entire ship. <laughs> I just give you the cold shoulder, and I wanted to know that I'm sorry for the bad first impression. To be fair, I understand. It's I'm a counselor is an interesting position on a starship. Much like a doctor, I can take someone out of command or make it so that their lives are a bit difficult if they want to do their duties and I think they're not capable. So when a new one comes on a ship, I find it completely understandable that some people are standoffish and not willing or ready to accept the fact that the counselor needs to be there. It's something that I've dealt with in this career before and it probably won't be the last time. Well, apparently we're going to Delphi. Uh, so I've heard. How's the captain handling this news? Loud music and scientific distraction. Well, that's better than bottling it up inside and not talking about it. That's true. But apparently, from the mini miniature amounts of research I've done, it's got some lovely beaches. Beaches are nice. I, I, if I'm being fair, I don't know much about Delphi at all. None of us really do. The captain's kept it pretty quiet. Understandable. But I just wanted to you we're having a good day, I suppose. Yes, we are. And I appreciate you coming to check on me. If you want, we can set up I don't know, some time to go on the holodeck if there's any program you'd like to share. I'm always looking for new entertainment. I'll look into it. I already have some plans with Commander Spawn. Of course. L Lassan stands up kind of like awkwardly and like adjusts her uniform and just kind of like nods like, okay, 
I, I did my job. Uh, <laughs> Lorraine will stand up as well and will escort her to the door because that's polite. <laughs> Lasan will kind of linger for a moment. You're... You're a good kid. <laughs> uh, Lauren will actually laugh a little bit uh, and nod. Thank you. You're not so bad either. And he is not touching the age comment for anything. <laughs> You get the distinct impression that Lasan is like mauling you as she like kind of wave and walks away. Uh, Lorin will uh, stand in the door for a moment and watch her go and shake his head and go, "She's nice." And then he'll go back in and start reading his book again. Chip mom. I'm a mom thumb all of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right so just as this uh the, the shift is winding down uh there is another communications that arise uh it is an urgent priority one from admiral jameson captain incoming priority hail now the captain's uh all right Give me, give me a minute, so I can put down the bottle. One sec. <laughs> and in about five minutes, he comes onto the bridge with his um, zipping his coat back up. Oh boy, was, mm, big old headache. Okay, I'm fine. And yeah, all right. Party one message. Is um, I... for my eyes only. Uh, in Star Trek, our priority message is just for the captain's eyes only. Um, I can't actually remember, but usually I know Picard usually took them in his ready room. I think it. I think it's a specific distinction between priority and whether it's for his eyes. So I was asking whether or not. Uh, I'm going to say this. This isn't classified in. in in any particular way, but it is an urgent, urgent message. All right, on screen. I kept it on screen. Captain, uh, situation unfortunately has changed. I'm going to have to order you to stand still and ready to be uh, met by a fellow starship. We are going to have to uh, transfer the former commander Pallas off the ship. For what reason? Commander, Captain, you have received your orders. Can... I have a question. <laughs> I can't read it, that guy's mind from where Charo's sitting. Can he? That's not how that works. It, 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 it's, it's a personal thing. You can't really... Um, I mean, it's a bit weird. Um, yeah, I know. If it's not even... Like, I didn't know if that was a thing, but if not... I, 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 like, I, it, it's done a lot in TNG, but that's for, like, people close by. I think, um, I think Troy was just her communication. I think Deanna Troy was just kind of a savant and that she had an extremely long range. Or more likely, she was pulling it out of her butt since apparently she could read Ferengi at distance some of the time. Yeah. I mean, facial expressions are things, too. Ferengi aren't hard to read. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say... Um... Yeah, I'd also like to see... Um, yeah, because this uh, the whole you know shutting me down thing is a little suspicious. Uh, the uh, I'm I'm going to say no. Um, you don't get a read on him, but you do definitely get a something's up from the rest of the crew. Um, you're not sure. You're not sure, and they're not sure what's going on. Okay. 
All right, but can I use some kind of intuition to see if, uh, you know, something come out for these, or if everything's on the up and up? Uh, there is an uh, insight command check you could do. Um, difficulty three. I'm going to grab a die. With, um, uh, I'm going to allow... Ooh. I'm going to allow the communications command roll by the ship on this one. Interesting choice. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh I think I got to break out my cold reading timer. Uh, what, what was the roll for the ship? Uh, communications command. Someone looks like someone's setting up to roll that. Yeah, I just clicked on it. <laughs> oh, it's not showing your roll. There, there we go. Alright, so you get, get a momentum back. Uh, what's the cold reading? Okay, so cold reading count. Succeeding at a task during a social conflict generates one bonus momentum, which must be used for the obtain information momentum spend to gain knowledge about an individual on the other side of the interaction. Okay, um, so first you get to know this is, um, from your initial role, you get, this is a bad situation. It seems from your reading that there's been a major policy change in how they regard Palace. A policy change regarding one specific individual. That's suspicious as fuck. It is suspicious as fuck. Is this actually the admiral I'm speaking with? Uh... Yes. I, I just had to make sure whether I wanted it. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no. It, it is definitely the admiral that's speaking. Um, but... There is definitely something... Going on behind the scenes that... that is different than what you expect the Admiral normally. He, like, he's, gen like, from your interaction, he's a, a, a pretty, you know, like, direct, straight, but, you know, he, he doesn't really... Like, one, once he sets his parameters, he leaves the, the, the captaining to the captains. He's not one that really he's not a micromanager he's not a micromanager and has he always been um, has he ever really shut me down like this before has, like been um, no in... so this is out of character behavior for him yes all right this would have been after the um the event on the the new york coup on earth when it turns out one of the admirals was actually a changeling right uh, there was Admiral Layton. Yeah. That yeah, that was that that's been a fair while Year ago. And a half now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So back to the conversation. Alright, Admiral, what is the rendezvous point? Uh, um, order, orders are being sent. The the USS uh, I've got to think of a name now, I didn't write down the name. Um Saskatchewan. Uh, it's <laughs> it, yeah, it, work. it's an enterprise. Uh, it's a galaxy class. Um, we'll meet you at these coordinates. Um, it's about uh, two uh, six hours away. Um, in 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 the way you're traveling. Um, already. Um, and uh, the, the the Saskatchewan will meet you in approximately seven hours there. Understood. Dockery out. I turn over immediately. Charo, call whole senior staff at the bridge. I got them. All senior staff, report to the bridge, please. And after about five minutes, everyone yeah. clicks on the bridge. So every, yeah. the, the doctor's there, um, 
Lauren's there. Uh, everyone who is not usually on the bridge, even uh, is on the is is in the um, is in the conference room, ready yeah, for. I, and I inform them of the message we just received from the idol lead as he's rather out of place. So are we actually planning to follow these orders, or are we just going to say screw it and hit the gas? Oh, I'm sorry. I think you know me better by now. Captain. I'm not, I'm not saying we run away, though. Captain, I would like to request personal leave to accompany Pellis. I'll put it under consideration. I'm not going to give an answer on that front right now. What I am going to do, however... Um, Lieutenant Commander Thazer? Yes? If at all possible, I'd like you to find a, an interesting stellar body for us to examine and to request to put in a, a request for the ship to slow down to warp 3 to get a better of a scanning of it. Salute. <laughs> Pushes the scan button. Mm -hmm. Make it as detailed as possible. I want to read the quirks off of whatever interstellar body you find. Okay, so that that is planned that hasn't happened yet? Yeah, no, I'm, we're, we're, um, we're discussing um, policies. Or we're, we're just, basically, I'm just saying, we need, we need to stall for time. Well, in the off chance that the stall doesn't work, uh, Captain May suggests that we, at the very least, raise our shields. That's a good point. Tactical, take us the yellow alert. I raise on the bridge. Yellow alert. Yeah. Uh, would you also like me to set up transport inhibitors around Pellis's quarters? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And let Pellis know what's going on. I don't want him, I don't want him out of the loop. But it might be a good idea to get his opinion on this. Let's call him up to the conference room. That's not a bad idea, Captain. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and call up Pellis. Captain? Uh, Pellis, a matter has come to our attention. I'd like your presence in the conference room on the bridge. He pauses just a bit. Very well. Uh, I'll be there momentarily. Thank you. Bridge out. <sighs> yeah, this is bullshit. Something's going on. What do we think? Section 31? Maybe some Tal Shiar thing? Why don't we just assume all of the above right now? It definitely I, feels I, espionage -y. I agree. There is no chance of ruling anything out until we come to the situation. Alright, so this, uh, this palace now arrives. I, I find it unlikely that Section 31 would be interested. Pellis does not pose a threat to the Federation in the same manner that, say, for example, the Jem'Hadar or the Founders might. However, I don't think it's a threat. I think it's the idea of using him as a tool. So he does he have up? rather a lot of information when it comes to the ins and outs of the Telshi. And I feel Pellis on what was going on about his sudden and out of place transfer onto it, this USS Saskatchewan. You what see... do we know about this Saskatchewan captain? Yeah, it's a galaxy class. Do we know it's captain? We can probably pull that up. You, you pull the information up. He's a pretty... Uh, actually, she's a pretty by-the-book captain. Uh, follows orders. There isn't anything particular of note. There was uh, some involvement in the see... Dominion War, but... We haven't gotten to the Dominion War. I right? mean, in the um, Cardassian, Cardassian oh, okay. War, but... Yeah. Uh, but... So, so basically you're describing her record as nothing of note at all. Um, I mean, there's... Um... On this particular date, nothing happened. I mean, she showed, uh, she showed valor, she has showed leadership. Um... But there's but nothing... She seems particularly average for a Starfleet captain. She she is rather average. Uh, she she doesn't. Um, she she's not. She hasn't gone through much of the 
the particular weirdness. She hasn't particularly, you know, discovered anything fantastic. It's just one of the the ships that, um, now see one of the rank and file non hero ships. See, here's the thing, though. That's a galaxy class starship. You do not become captain of a galaxy class starship being rank and file. If you're yeah. rank and file, you're on an Excelsior or, or a Miranda. No, this this is like. That's either a Section 31 spy or a Telshiar plant. One of the is, two. Is there anything I can pull up as Lorraine on her psychological makeup, her psychological profile or anything? Um, yes, give me... Um, I'll just make it an insight medicine check with fo uh, with your focus. Um, Difficulty 2. Is she a new captain or has she, or has she been the, the captain's chair for a while? Um... She she has been the cup. Uh, she's actually pretty new. Uh, she was about a oh, year no. ago. Um, uh, whether like uh, just after just after the Cadassian like like just just before the Cadassian War ended, um, her previous captain died, and uh, she got she, uh, she she basically she was the first officer, which was permanently promoted to captain. Well, the the Cardassian barter complex actually ended about I want to say seven ten years ago by this point. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I'm gonna grab a dice for cautious, so I can probably build up some momentum. Maybe is in Kathy. Maybe the the Zenkethi complex was even smaller than the border wars. Yeah. And that was largely internalized to them. Okay. But going to the idea that she, she, she served in the Cardassian border complex and she seems to have re, re, um, gained this captain's seat recently within the last year. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's one, that's, that's, um, that's a ruling. She's been, um, okay, uh, so with, with that success, you get a momentum back. Um, a lot of the success, uh, seems to be based on, on the fact that she she she's sort of been a bit bit extra hardened by the war that she's a bit um um I don't really know how to put it but she's basically just uh, a follower of orders that she will she will dive into whatever um situation she has with um my country right or wrong yeah my the, that that very patriotic does, uh, she report to, does she report to uh Nechev or something jesus uh you know the champs you just be like i like this person <laughs> <laughs> oh god actually and i i've got a question and i'm okay with spending momentum for this if, if we need to but does she have any service or or any history any friends lost anything like that well friends lost probably we wouldn't know but does she have any a, a service record near the romulan neutral zone uh her her um record is mostly um within the alpha quadrant does she have any associates who are involved in anything involved involved in the romulan neutral zone family friends um crewmates anything like that uh, give me a uh, reason command. Difficulty two. I will. And I'll take a die. And while he's rolling that, uh, I want to ask the question of what department did she rise the ranks through? Did she come through security? Uh, sec security yes. Uh, she's security, yes. Okay, so hitting all the things we need to be aware of. Got it. Is she human? Uh, she is human, yes. Okay. Um, so you got your two, um, there have been, uh, there are people that she knows, but they're not, not direct c contact people, like, um, friends of a friend's kind of situation. Okay, but now, like, any, like, desire, like, close enough that she would have a desire for revenge or any kind of spite? Um, No. So it's more likely she's following orders from a higher authority. It's unlikely she has a personal stake in this. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's just a middleman. Very convenient right. patsy. Thank you. I'm not like this at all. We're faster than the galaxy class, right? Uh, I would have to go look that up. I. I forgot. <laughs> uh, I, th- I believe the Enterprise D could go 9.97. No, that, it, it, it could do 9.8 at extreme risk. It's like, I believe at standard maximum speed, it's supposed to be 9.2. So we, we tap out of what, 9.98? I, I am checking right now, actually. <laughs> How fast can um, the could get us? Okay, so we... Our maximum speed is worth 9.8 for 12 hours. How fast could we go if we absolutely need it? Uh, that. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the, uh, it can do warp 9.6 standard, warp 9.8 for emergency speed. But we can hold that for 12 hours. We can hold that for 12 hours. So if we need to, we can bug out and run. Yeah. I like that idea though. That, that, that is not plan A. Captain, my fear is that they will hand me over to the Tao Shia. That is something. I, there's another possibility. Maybe we're not dealing with Tao Shia. It's going to be something related to the Dominion. Despite the non-aggression pack signed between the two powers, I imagine they would be interested in getting whatever intelligence they can from a disgraced Tal'Shiar intelligence that they offered it. Because we all know that non-aggression pact is not going to last forever. Or they might attempt to use, or Starfleet Intelligence might attempt to use Commander Pellas as leverage to improve relations with the Romulan Star Empire. In either case, the prognosis does not look for good for the commander. And no, it doesn't. as a as the chief of security and as a relative, I would ask that I be allowed to accompany the commander. If we need to. Plan A is to make sure he never steps foot aboard the Saskatchewan. Understood. And it's actually all dependent on whether the, the captain agrees, the captain of that ship agrees to it. She's well within her rights to basically tell you now. I want to know where these orders came from. I want to know who said them. Or I want to know what face they were wearing when they said it. Is there any way we can find that out? We all have contacts, don't we? Savant, do you know anyone in Starfleet Intelligence? GM, do I know anyone in Starfleet Intelligence? Um, give me, give me a present security role. Present security coming up. What's my difficulty? Um, difficulty. Uh, the, the difficulty will be how many you get will be the quality of the contact that you do have. Okay. Do, uh. Does my espionage or infiltration focus apply? To I, I will. I will allow this since they're both okay. intelligence related. You got to be trained somehow in those. Okay. Um, and last but not least, I'm going to spend my value on this one. Going with seeker of the truth. Okay. That's a good one. So two plus two, four successes. All right, so you do, you do have um, you do have a contact. Um, one of the one of the agents that initially trained you in in your um, stealth and espionage uh, ways got onto um, got into some of the higher ranks within Starfleet intelligence. You do, and you have a way to contact them if you so need to. I have a. I have a mentor within Starfleet Intelligence, Captain. I will make some inquiries. Please. Anyone else have any ideas? I'm willing to take all comers right now. Um, well, 
Well, something I can offer from an engineering standpoint, if the worst case scenario comes to pass, pull up her prefix codes. And I make a mental note to rotate ours. Yeah, mm -hmm. rotate our prefix codes. Uh, I Already have on it, Captain. I have family who are in Starfleet who might have heard things. I don't know. Family in Starfleet. Who? Um. One moment while I check my own character history. <laughs> 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 Not I just know the day. I just know they're in Starfleet. <laughs> Alright, anyone else got ideas while <laughs> <laughs> on that? Well, and Misaka probably, um, probably worked with some classified material while he was designing the Akira, right? Uh, he wasn't that high up in the chain of command. He mostly did a lot of, like... He did a lot of design work. He didn't, like, order parts or anything, because that was all under Captain Sisko's purview. <laughs> Alright. Crazy question. Uh, would he would he be able to contact Cisco? <laughs> oh yeah, probably. <laughs> okay. Mm, right, we are in the Alpha Quadrant, but I don't know if this is actually his purview. Go ahead. I have an interesting question, Baz. Yes. Can I it's been a while since Lasan would have done this. Can I read the room with my telepathy? Uh, I will. I will allow it. Um, we've we've changed the way your telepathy works. Uh, generally, is to be more of a a dampening. Yeah, it's like a shield against an invasion. But... Yeah, but I I will allow it. Um, uh, this will be just more like more surface thoughts. You um, yep. more kind of thing. So give me a, a presence command. Good. Can I use my determination? Uh, I will, if you will allow it, it will either be family is everything or always something to learn. Or sorry, not under pressure. Uh, Come uh, order under pressure. I will. I will love. Um, definitely one of those. Uh, the family is okay. everything. Or order under pressure. They both seem to fit. Would my composure focus apply? Uh, I'm. I'm gonna say no. All right. Strange. Strange follow-up question, Baz. Mm -hmm. Can I assist? I will. I, I will allow you to assist. To assist. Okay. Weird mind meld lingering shenanigans. So, a uh, presence command. Presence command. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll be that for both of you. Because you're, you're, what, what you're doing is you're bas basically, basically bolstering up... Um, Oops. Sorry, I rolled twice. Uh, mentally... Um, the sound. Hey, so, that's five successes. with your... Oh, yes, five successes. Okay, so that was that was going to be that was a two anyway. So that you max out to a six. And I don't get my determination back. But that's it. Okay. So, um. So pretty much everyone is feeling a bit of stress right now. Uh, yep. Pellis particularly. Um. You can tell that he's thinking about. Uh, like a wide range of options. Um, what what could this mean for him? But he, he's more seemed to be focused on his family, or on their safety, or on what could happen to them if they uh, like a firefight broke out, or if he, um, you know, like made too much of a fuss. What sort of impact that would have on them? Right. 
Okay. I'm mostly focused on... Uh, well, I'm focused on the captain, obviously. Um, and I'm focused on... Well, I'm focused on everybody, but... Is, um, Journey's other character... He's not senior staff, so no, he wouldn't be in the room. Okay. And, and Safan, for, for the assist, I'm just gonna say, like, Safan feels... So Sarah's kind of just reaching out and and like acknowledges it warmly and lends his strength to assist. Okay, yeah. so I'm not getting any vibes off of every anybody. I'm not getting anything. The, like everyone is pretty much down to work. How can we solve this? What can we do to help? And Tazeras is able okay. to read everybody, right? There's no one who's a blink spot. Um, every, I mean, everyone at the, at, at, in the conference room, she's able to read, uh, basically, which is just for the, you, the play characters. Okay, and so and Iris. Good. <laughs> None of us are changelings. None of us are changelings. That's a good start. Step one, confirmed. Okay, none of, we're all good. Step one. None of us are in Jello. I did find out who his relatives are that are in Starfleet. Shoot. Um, my uh, my uncle is a uh, is a is a captain. No wait, he's an XO. He might know something. He might not. I don't know what he's up reaching, to at this point. If you think it's worth reaching out, go for it. I can find out, and uh, I have a I have a friend who. Is an engineer on uh, on a ship, but I I don't know how that would turn out. And he goes really quiet after that. Well, at least talk to your uncle. See if he might know anything. I got. You. And we we're still in the alpha quadrant. He might know something we don't. Um... Zaka, if you think it's worth it, maybe you could put in a call to um, Captain Cisco, or at least a message. Uh, send a message. Uh, I'd also like to, if possible, see about relocating them into uh, quarters that more in the center of the ship than a lot, you know, with windows and stuff, in case we have to end up protecting them from external conflict. Yeah, that's what we're here to do. We need more information before we can take any further action. Right now, we just have to stall. Stall hard. Imzaka, if possible, could we maybe run into a bit of engine trouble on the way? Just gremlins in the system. Things happen. Are we talking gremlins or any put the finger across? Gremlins. When, can Lower case. When was the last time the engines underwent a, a level 2 diagnostic? Well, it can always be due for another one. Let's make Indeed. it do. On the warship, one cannot be too careful. Absolutely not with the higher tensions with the Dominion about. Get it done. And we can keep doing those science scans while we're at it. No sense wasting time. If, um, if it helps and can help prolong things, maybe the commander and his family could be undergoing some sort of physical examinations or with the doctor if need be to add on to keeping things busy maybe they ended up maybe they actually brought in a form of flu from Romulus Romulus and need a little bit of R&R before they can be well I was going to say before safely transferred but whatever works Commander Safan, if they're possibly contagious, you might want to uh, increase security so that they don't accidentally leave their quarters and spread it around. And he kind of waits. Safan raises an eyebrow. There is a balance to be maintained, Commander. Yeah. I appreciate the gesture. However, increased security would also have the effect of making Paul's family members more nervous. And it might tip our hand. 
On that note, however, tell us, may we have a word when this meeting is concluded? Yapelis nods. He's, he's, he's deep in thought, just um, just not really looking. Just you can you can see his mind ticking over, but he is not particularly sharing anything at the moment. Iris, how about you? You've been kind of quiet. I never thought we would have to put up a front against a. Fellow Starfleet officer, I, I don't have anything else I think we can add apart from maybe bolstering our shields and maybe interfering with, if we can interfere with the uh, Saskatchewan sensors, then maybe that would be some kind of benefit. You know, there was a trick we used to do back in the... Um... The Cardassian Border Wars. We called it a a, a flashbang torpedo. It was more like a sensor bomb. Maybe you've heard of it, um, Commander? And I nod over to the there. Zareth kind of squints a bit. Makes like a so-so motion. On the other hand, well, the, I have. Well, the idea was that we would, um, we would load, we would load a photon torpedo with, um, essentially, um, certain collection of minerals, etc. But the idea was to essentially overload a ship's sensors with information and knock it out for at least a couple... It used to be 30 seconds. I think the most we can get up at these days is five. But five seconds of blindness is maybe more than enough we need. Considering a transport, it takes six seconds to complete. I ha I'm also familiar with this, Captain. In the security communities, it is known as a glitter bomb. Hmm. We can also uh, augment this effect with, by using uh, an antimatter spread. Yeah, we can enhance it, certainly. When in doubt, to be more fabulous? Indeed. You, th you think you two can get some um, couple of these rigged up? Maybe four or so, just in case? Yes, sir. Alright. And I'm going to put in some calls myself, see if I can get anything going. This came directly from the Admiral, right? Sorry, just my brain cannot. As far as we know, I think it's the Admiral, but, I mean, we're definitely dealing on, like, you know. <laughs> you see, it, it, like, the orders came from the Admiral, but you get there's something more going on behind the scenes. You... Yeah. Captain, is it possible to connect, to contact another member of the Admiralty? It's a lot of, um, you're not entirely a fan of going over each other's heads. It's possible. Just, what, about just someone, that... what about someone under him? Mm. That Perhaps. would be a very, that would be an extremely efficient way of making sure he knows we are asking. Yeah. Perhaps just say that, I mean, contacting another admiral and just saying, like, something along the lines of, You wanted to make sure that you heard correctly. There is the option of contacting the Admiral himself via known channels to verify the authenticity of the order. And more, to, and more to the point to verify the reasons for the orders, which we never got. It's entirely possible that the reasons are classified and listed as need to know. Still, we don't even know if that really was the Admiral. We can fake transmissions easily. Mm. I'm not so against a contact. Well. I'm not against contacting a different Admiral for um, authentic authentic authentication. What did we call? Ghostbusters. Um. Captain, what about your former commanding officer? He's not an admiral. He's still the captain of the um, Amazon. No, right? no, he's not an admiral. But he would be aware if there was of any intelligence operation of this level taking in a Talshio prisoner. If they're going to call in backup, they inform the fleet. And the Amazon is currently in the Alpha Quadrant. Yeah, I call. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll definitely do that. 
think we got like seven plans here. Alright, people, let's go make some calls. And slow us down. Alright, so so you've you've got your plans. Um, The meeting uh, dismisses and uh, Pearl stays behind uh, waiting for Safan. Yeah. Paulus, I understand you are no doubt concerned about your family. If you are... If you wish to make any sort of accommodations that I can assist with, I am happy to do so. Well, beyond the positioning, I don't know how else I could protect them. Starfleet's orders are for you to to transfer to the Saskatchewan. They do not... They do not include your family members. If you are concerned for your safety, we could house your family here until we knew for sure that you that they would be safe aboard the Saskatchewan. Considering that the orders are just for me, I have to conclude that they wish to separate myself from my family for whatever reason. Maybe they're going to hand just me over to the Tal Shiar and keep my family under this asylum or if they have other plans for me. I, I, I don't know what they're planning and that is... that is a problem. Agreed. Well, uh, I... I do appreciate anything you could you could do to assist. I will start looking to uh, new accommodations, new quarters that would be safer should things turn for the worse. And tell us should things. I will do what I can to guarantee the safety of of you and your family. I'm going to see if he, he breaks composure right now. No, he keeps stoic. Um, you see, you see a twinge in his eye as he uh, as, as, as you know you, you can definitely see all the uh, as, you know like he's, he's very fidgety in terms of activity he's like uh, he, he, he something's always moving but um, uh, he, he, he stares at you and and there is there is just a moment where like he, he he just stops from the fidgeting and, and and you sense a real connection there for a moment. Well, I guess we all have a lot we got to do before this uh, meeting takes place. Indeed. Thank you. And with that, you just. Just, I just nod. Yeah, just just sort of walks with determination, uh, fast, you know, determined pace out of the conference room and back towards the um, turbo lift. Um, as we're as we're leaving, uh, I'm going to catch up with Loren in the turbo lift. Uh, Loren doesn't know, uh, will nod for a moment, but he'll be quiet. Do you need help with anything? Um, not at the moment, uh, Lieutenant Commander. It's, uh, just reaching out. It shouldn't be that hard. I just have to, uh, go through normal channels, I think. My uncle shouldn't be too hard to find. 
Now, you're aware of the ship and uh, his position on the ship that he is, so you, you can... Uh, it, it, it's fairly simple. <laughs> Oh uh, no, he's he's just Lorenz just very distracted at the moment. Uh Lasan will wait until they re floor her and pause as she's stepping out of the triple lift. Um Sorry. Uh and she will look at uh Lorin and give him kind of a small smile. It was brave of you to suggest the engine. Uh, Loren's gonna stare for a moment, uh, really very caught off guard, and he's not gonna say anything and just nod as the turbo lift doors close and take him to where he needs to go. <laughs> Lasan will make her way to the science lab. Okay, um, while that happens, uh, Lustos, can I get you to do a presence command role? Uh, sure. Uh, any focuses here? Um, I'm gonna say n no, I don't, don't, no, you don't have a focus at least. Okay, uh, do any of my talents come into play here? Is this something? Oh, uh, this this is uh, this isn't Lorin. This is um, the Obezoid. I don't think he has any talents. Uh, he's got uh, he does have one. He has Dauntless. I don't know if that'll come into. Effect. Yeah, no, that's that's not gonna come into play. Okay. Okay, so you are aware of the basic situation just from reading everyone's minds. Everyone is pretty preoccupied um, and and just trying to think through the issues they got. You pretty much got the gist of what's gone down. Okay. Uh, the moment I have spare time to head to my quarters, uh, Lustos will go do that so he can send a quick report so that uh, his people know what's going on. Alright, um, so in the meantime, let's start with, um, we have a lot of roles to do, so let's start with uh, Lasan doing science, science, science. Lasan will be back in a few minutes. Oh, uh, in the meantime, so let's start with, um, <laughs> Start with uh, Mzaka then. Uh, see what yeah. engineering stuff that he can do. Okay, so Mzaka is gonna dedicate himself to installing stuff like the uh, the transport inhibitors and so forth. And then he's gonna have uh, uh, Lieutenant Ankaro handle the uh, the glitter bombs. <laughs> All right. So um, I'll just need. Uh... Um, so that'll be control engineering. Uh, it'll be a uh, Tiffley two from Zaka. Uh, taking a momentum for an extra die. Yep. Uh, I just need to double check my talents really fast. See if there's anything that applies here. Where's that page? Because I never, never remember where they are. I, I would probably make the 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 the, the um, torpedoes a extended task, but uh, we gotta we gotta move. Okay. Uh, screw it. I'm just gonna make a straight roll. <laughs> you said it was uh, difficulty two, right? Yes. And well, you get I your. I to get my momentum back. <laughs> All right. So. Um... You have, uh, it, it's taken you a bit of time to collect and manufacture. Uh, by this time, uh, Palace has located where he wants the new, his, his uh, new family residence, the new quarters to be, and they, they just happen to be empty. 
so you're able to get to work, particularly centering the um, transporter in tra inhibitors around that area. Uh, I would also like to spend two momentum to make an advantage. Mm -hmm. And that advantage is that these ones are going to have an are going to automatically change their frequencies on a random rotating basis. So the only way you can turn them off is you have pretty much you're going to have to physically come down here and rip okay, them out. Okay, so <clears throat> there is no remote way to bypass these. They have to be be manually. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, what I'm going to say is that it's going to add a bit of uh, extra difficulty to any roles should uh, should um, transportation be attempted by force. I imagine just a big friggin' lever on just on it. It's at the pull. <laughs> He's more subtle than that. It's just a big red button behind a flip switch. <laughs> okay, so now Ankara. Um, to do this, this will be difficulty three. But he will be supported by web, um, weapons engineering. Okay. So who's taking the ship? Uh, I can roll for the ship. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, okay, I am... So, I have to pick a focus here. And I, this is going to be me really pushing the envelope. Just a heads up. Can... <laughs> And Caro used his focus in mining technology, being familiar with hazardous materials and how they can interfere with uh, technology and so forth to as a focus, basically. Like, I know how to deal, deal with minerals and so forth that can scramble sensors. I'm from a mining planet. <laughs> okay, give, um, give me a D4. There is okay. just enough to give for this to give it a, a chance of working. And yes, that worked. If it was yeah. three or four, it wouldn't have. So right. I'm going to give you that focus. And I'm taking a momentum. <laughs> for an extra die. Okay. And roll in. Oh, there we go. So uh, weapons... God damn. Um, and, uh, engineering, I said, yes. All right, weapons engineering for the ship. Ooh. Yes. As in it, since you have like enough, you have enough flowing momentum now, as an advantage, could you make it so that our centers wouldn't be affected? Yes, I will make it a shape charge. That'll work. And that fits in with his mining expertise. <laughs> No, 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 this is, this is how we do it in Andorra. No, 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 make the warhead like this. It'll only affect them. It's got like a 180-degree arc away from us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Uh, we're just throwing glitter in someone's face. <laughs> Pocket glitter. Ah, I'm just running. Uh, okay, so we have uh, Safan trying to reach out uh, to right. his uh, mentor. Yep. So how shall we do this? Um, we are running a bit low on time, otherwise I'd RP this, but let's yeah. do, do a roll. Um, presence command. Oh, okay. I mean, could we, could we use the presence command roll I made earlier? The four the one with four successes. Um, that. Yeah, actually, no, because of the position. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. Yes, it, I'm going to piggyback off it. No, you don't need to roll anything. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I, I'm re 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 reevaluating because because you rolled so well uh, on the initial one. This guy's going to know. Uh, what you need to know, and um, he, um, he informs you that there are um, he is aware of some influence uh, 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 overtures being made towards the Romulans 
regarding um, the Dominion uh, threat. Um, just, just as a quick uh, political overview, there there have been discussions, but there has no been not been any formalized non-aggression pact. Um, so that the it, it's it's a battle of diplomacy between the Romulans, uh, between the Federation and the Dominion for the Romulans right now. Um, and he believes that, um, he says there, that, that, that people have been suggesting using Palace as, as a pawn in that, but he also thinks that there's something more like underneath all that going on as well. He can't quite put his finger on it, but there's some kind of ulterior motive even to that. Well, shit. Alright, so uh, let's get back to Lasan then. Uh, you were. Um, oh, the ship was delaying to do a detailed scan of the scientific oh, science no, thing. Detailed scan yeah. of science! <laughs> Alright, so um, let's just do an open roll here. Um, a science. Um, Reason science backed up by census science for the ship, and awesome. the the higher the roll, the more detailed, the more believable your reason for slowing down uh, the Excellent. ship was. I'm assuming I have a focus of some sort. I, I'm going to give you the focus for this. Uh, may I take an extra? You can take as many die as you want. We will just take one for reality. now. <laughs> no, I did earlier. Oh, that's right, yeah. So you can take two two or three if you wanted to. Oh, that's, that's uh, five successes. That so, is... uh, does the ship want to roll? Yeah, the ship will roll. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to be here all day. What's the ship rolling? Uh, Sense of science. I'd like to point out that it... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, w what actually happens is that you are... Uh... We, we found another temporal anomaly. <laughs> no, no, you have science something that was, was actually pretty common, but your detailed analysis that was so was done so well that um, you've been able to... Gain actually gain legitimate scientific um, advancement from this. That you actually. <laughs> <laughs> that I have. I have, I have a new thesis. I have. I have. I have a new thesis that I'm gonna write. <laughs> you legitimately do have enough information to write a new thesis. And now we have the basis for quantum slipstream drives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was um, and I, even with that, I'm going to give you your min momentum back. Because that, you. yeah. Um. Also, the ship is now made of lead. <laughs> <laughs> and no, she didn't discover alchemy. They didn't discover Aww, alchemy. Oh, not Damn fair. It. Uh, but yeah, I will. I will definitely like take a bunch of notes. And like, I'm gonna hit my comp. Uh, Commander Le uh, Tazareth to Captain Tedachesco. Ted here, what's up? You should come to the science lab. All right, but if he hit me with any Andorian full of you, he's coming no, over. No, no, no. <laughs> It'll be Cardassian music. No, no. 
I, I, I felt how he reacted to that. Uh, so moments moments later, the captain enters your science lab. <laughs> look, look at these readings. Look at these readings. Why four star? But wait, what? I told you to stall for time. Did you actually find <laughs> something? <laughs> yes! Holy crap. Only we can turn stalling into time into actual scientific progress. I like put my hands on Ted's shoulders and kind of shake him excitedly. <laughs> That's... I can write an entire thesis! This will completely rewrite our theory of how star stars age. Whoa, okay. Uh, you know, I'm going to say this is probably good enough justification. Alvarado, change our heading. Let's see if we can get an orbit around this nearby star. Um, and I, look, I rattle off the actual star. There you go. So it is... Um, it, 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 it's, it's not far away. Um, it, it's, it's basically a second later and you're... You're already you're already um in the in the system, <coughs> um, and sitting around in orbit, and so. Okay, well let's not let's not lose track of what we're actually doing here for. But holy crap! Lasan is like giddy. <laughs> yeah, no, keep up the good work. And uh, maybe keep an eye out for any cloaked ships, just in case. And unfortunately, that is where we're going to have to leave it for this week. We're going to have to continue next week with how all this wraps oh, up. Dear. Oh, dear. No, no, no.